that on the bottom. Next stencil, this is not a Diane Reevely stencil either. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, I got a lot of my Diane Reevely stencils. Uh, Walmart was clearancing them out, and I also got some on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And Tuesday morning has uh, stencils a lot of times, Diane Reevely stencils. And not just Diane Reevely, these have a lot of good stencils, period. So, if you need to up your uh, game on stencils, I highly suggest um, Tuesday morning for consistency. They always have some stencils there. Always. That looks cool. Um, I love this stencil. It always just looks so cool. Cool. Love this. All right. Um, let me wipe this things lock a little bit. All right. Um, now I just want to throw on some. Okay, let's go ahead and we're done with the paint. So I'm going to spray a little water in the lid. Look how quickly I'm creating a background. Oh, now you guys know I'm famous for, not really literally famous, but you know, I'm famous for uh, always liking to do a lot of layers before I add paint. Um, and I tried that. I was gonna do a lot of layers and then do paint. You guys, it made the, um, it made the, uh, this placemat so stiff. That's why I'm only using paints to build up layers and to create my background. No uh, collage bits. Because I know some people are like, why aren't you using collage bits? You always use collage bits before you do this. So, or I would have been using them. Okay, just a second. All right. Let me get out. I need some white paint. Let me get out another tray. Some white acrylic paint. So now we're just using some white acrylic paint. Now, oh, I should explain this. If you don't have... Diane Reevely paints. No major. You guys just saw me do this with some Americana. I don't care what you have. If you have the cheapy cheap craft smart paint, whatever you have, put it on with a baby wipe to get your background done first. And the reason is it keeps it, everything translucent so you can really create layers. Um, I think this is a Diane Reevely stencil and I love it. So we're going to create some little bobbles everywhere. Okay. Just in little places around. Just here and there. Create a few little water bubbles. Oh, maybe a few over here. <laughs> it becomes an addiction. All right. That's good. Look how quickly we just created a background. Quick, quick, quick. I love it. Let's give this a quick dry with the blow dryer. Do I even need to blow dry it? I don't know. Probably already almost dry. Because you're using, you don't use very much paint. So, you know, I'm not going to worry about drying it. It's almost dry now. All right, so let me put this away for now. Put the white paint away for now, because we need to get some black paint out. I gotta put this white paint somewhere, because we're gonna use that again. Let's put it on the ground. All right. Next thing we're gonna do is, you know what? I need to wipe up 
just a second. On the side here, I was putting paint down and I'm about to get it in my, all over me. So let me wipe up my little station here so we don't have stuff everywhere. I don't know if you guys ever wondered, but what I, these little mats that I'm using, these are just Dollar Tree um, shelf liners. So, cheap, easy, they wipe off easily, and uh, when they just become too painty or whatever, I just throw them out and replace them. Look how cool that is. So quick and easy. You can also do this with sprays. Now, the dilution sprays or any sprays you want and spray through stencils and spray for your background. But on this, I would use acrylic paint. I wouldn't use the sprays. Um, you want this pretty, you want this permanent because this is your, uh, your cover. So, uh, you want this to be permanent. Okay. Next. Uh, next, we're going to do, um, let's do a border. Am I going to use this? Okay, we're going to do some bordering. Now, what I want to do right now is go ahead and fold our um, our traveler's notebook. And decide what we want for the front, or do we want this to be the front? Or do we want this to be the front? It doesn't really matter, but I'm just kind of curious which one I want to have as the front. I'm really loving this. Let's leave this as the front. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's have that as the front. So I want to do a border, and I want my border to be these leaves. This is a Diane Reevely stencil. I absolutely am obsessed with it. And we're going to have it go right across. And that's why you need to go ahead and fold it, because you're going to decorate the front, you're going to decorate the back. And what will end up happening is you'll decorate it, and it will make sense once you fold it, if you don't have it folded already. So... Just a second, I've had to put my iPad away. So we're going to use some black paint through a stencil, through the stencil. We're going to use, oh, that's a wet one, another makeup wedge. Okay. All right, so here we go. Okay. Now, I'm not sure why this isn't blacker. Oh, it's black enough. Okay, just a second. We're going to, you know, we're going to dry that, which I don't normally dry it. That's weird. Hmm. So I'm going to put a second layer of black through that. So let me dry it. I'm going to dry it, which sounds weird, through the stencil. Because I just did numbers on um, on the front of the other one, and the black it just covered it right up. I mean, it covered up really nice and black. So I'm not really sure what the heck is going on. Oh well, I did it in layers, so two layers of black <laughs> to get it black enough. It's just weird. And is it black as I want it? Oh, it still looks good. Okay, very good. So there we go. That was weird to have to do it in two layers like that, though. Anyway, let's dry that.
And this is, like I said, this is a Diane Reevely stencil. I'll tell you what another cool thing is this right here. That's really cool to put in a background on a page. I've done it. Okay, so. All right, let's do this. Again, we'll do two layers because I wanted to get it darker. So let's draw it through the stencil. And then um, off camera, I'll do the inside. I'm not gonna do the inside because um, I'll just do the inside basically the same way that I'm doing um, the same way that I'm doing um, the front cover. So I'll do the inside of this um, off camera. Oh, you know what? Pouncing on the black makes it blacker. Okay. It's probably just the surface that I'm working on. Oh, look at that, how much blacker it got. Cool. So pouncing worked better. Okay. But let's dry that really quick. I can't line these back up again and we'll pounce over these if I can line them up if I can line them up good if I can't then we won't oh my gosh look at that lined it up perfectly yes so let's pounce over all this again because I'd like to see them really nice and dark On the other one, I was just running it. I was just like running it in circles or just running over it. It worked out perfect, but this black, hmm, it likes being pounced on. <laughs> nice and black. That's what I wanted, that really nice and black. Because what we're going to do, and I can't do it on this video because um, it'll eat up my pen, but I like to take a white gel pen, or you can take a white paint pen, but I love a white gel pen. And... Um, you can get them at Hobby Lobby by the registers. You get a pack of three or four for four bucks. Use a coupon if you want. I did. I do. I'm that cheap. So it's just a white jelly pen. And you can come here. I don't want to do it now because it'll eat up my pen. Let this dry for 24 hours and then your either your paint pen or your jelly pen won't get eaten up. And just go ahead and just draw around these just and then throw some like little lines in for the leaves. And I'll show you that on another video. We'll do that. Okay. So let's continue on. Um, I want some numbers to go in here on the bottom here and on the side. So let me find numbers. So this is a Diane Reeven stencil, that stencil I used before. What her, her, her stencils are cool because she'll have like um, something to stencil through, uh, use as a stencil, and then she'll have a border stencil on the edges. On all her stencils, she does that. So it's pretty cool. It's way cool. Okay. I need some more black paint. There we go. Okay. I was just trying to see if I just want the numbers. Yeah, you know, I think I do just want the numbers. You know, actually, that would look cool. Okay, I'm going to do it like that. All right, sorry. 
I was having a moment. Can I have a moment, please? <laughs> I was having a moment with myself, trying to decide what the hell I was doing. Okay, we're gonna stop right there because I don't wanna run into the leaves, which I think I did run into the leaf a little bit, you know, major. Perfect. Look at that. There we go. And I'm trying to think if I want to put anything right here, but I think I don't because um, I got other things I want to put on here. So let's dry that really quick just to make sure everything's nice and dry. Let me show you how cool this looks. Doesn't that look so cool? Look how quickly we've done this. Just, I love her, isn't her techniques cool? They're so quick and so easy. Okay, um, next. Um, you know what, I think I lied. I think I do want to put this right here. It says, um, well, that's too long. I got a lot of stuff I'm going to put on here. 